Fellas, ladies, what's going on? Silver Wolves here. So with the silver spot price taking a nosedive in the last week or so, you must have been asking yourself, is this for real again? If you follow my channel, I have mentioned not often in previous videos that I believe the silver market is highly manipulated. The gold market as well, but to a lesser degree. You know, many channels, even the bigger ones, really don't cover this topic. If they do, they underplay it or pass it on as if it's happening on a smaller scale and really doesn't shake the price that much. So where's the evidence, Silver Wolves? Well, I don't have a smoking gun. I'm still investigating, connecting the dots. People have asked me in the comment section, if silver is truly being manipulated, then what can we do about it? We're talking about billions and billions of dollars at stake here. If such manipulation is revealed, <laughs> Use your imagination what would happen. So it's not going to be easy, short of a whistleblower. But what I can do now is share some content, spread the word, so to speak. I think the first step is to become aware of it. So for the rest of this video, I'm going to share with you two short clips from coin dealers. One of them has a YouTube channel here on the platform talking about this manipulation. I believe if more people, especially within this community, become conscious of this fact, who knows, maybe a solution will present itself. So with that all said, let's play the clips. Uh, this is me, there's my feet. That's probably the most you've seen of me ever there is my feet, so <laughs> my legs. And yes, I do have legs and feet, and I'm a real person. I am not a bot, as I've been accused of on Twitter and a few other places here. Man, people don't like it when you disagree with them. Um, Folks, I woke up this morning too to the same price. I didn't look at them last night, but I figured we'd see. I did the video on last Thursday before I left, sub $23 question mark. Um, you know, that's the number that these big collusive uh, crooked criminal uh, uh, players need to be at, this sub $23 level to get them out of their bullshit position, paper position that they've been in for years. And the, the nonsense just continues. However, I don't want you to get discouraged, especially you new folks out there, you know, uh, but, you know, we've seen almost a, what is it, a 27 cha and change, 27.50, 27.60, the high sometime in March, I believe it was, or over 27. I mean, think about this. That's a $5 plus knockdown, folks. And uh, it's criminal. It is criminal to the nth degree. And we're going to get into that. And you can see the manipulation in the price. If you look at, like, say, Monday was a holiday. Mm -hmm. So the markets were closed. And if you look at the graph, you open up um, like Kitco and you look at the gold and silver graph, how it sold off while the markets were closed. What investor would sell 8 billion ounces of silver while the markets closed and do it all in one minute, and, and which is going to make the price go super low? No investor would want to get the least amount of money that they can for their uh, paper. Right. They sell when the market is open and they spread their sale out over all day so as not to cause the market to drop. But you can see, you know, slam down three times when the market's closed, somebody is selling, you know, um, you know, eight to 10 years worth of production. So that's your that's where you can actually look and see the manipulation. Market closed, eight billion ounces all in one minute makes the price go super low, and then the manipulators like J.P. Morgan and all that they place bets ahead of time, shorts, that it's going to go to eighteen fifty or eighteen eighty on gold, and they're right because they hammer the market down when it's closed and they take advantage of uh, of that. And, and by dumping, you know, 500 to one pieces of paper on the market to wow. drive it down. So and then they, they cash in and they make, um, they make billions of dollars off of that. And then they turn around and do it again and they just keep doing it. And the government, the SEC, covers and protects them because we, they are protecting a strong dollar. 